We sip a tea here. Hello YouTube, uh, Tom here from Full Install. Welcome once again to my face. Uh, just want to do a quick thank you to the people who have subscribed. There's only 30 of you now, but considering I don't have a beard and a big wall of games to stand in front of, I think that's some bottom of an achievement, especially for an English boy. Sorry I haven't uploaded a review in a few weeks. I recently moved into a new flat, so it's been a little bit difficult to uh, find the time on the weekends or in the week to play games. And Obviously I didn't have the internet for uh, the first week or so. So. Um, it's been a little bit difficult, but now everything's back on track, we're all set up here, so um, I can get back to gaming. As most PC games from the 90s would be, you can probably tell I've got a bit of a soft spot for first person shooters, especially the old school ones. I don't really like this new fangled regenerating health, uh, you know, hub based mission, yeah, bollocks. I like my old, I like my shooters old school, run and gun, shooty fun. Um, and one of the old school shooters I fancy playing recently, and perhaps doing a review of, um, is Gunman Chronicles, as you can see playing behind me, I've been capturing the footage in glorious 1080p, although I hate using the term 1080p, 1920 by 1080 um, but I had a few little uh, problems getting that to run, obviously the game is very old, uh, well 2000, 2000, 2001, I'll research that for the review if I do one, um, obviously it runs off the old Half-Life engine which uh, as standard, vanilla is a bit dated now, but luckily there are a few little tweaks you can do to get this working and running as good as it looks behind me, which you probably can't tell because it's a camera on a screen, but uh, I'll back up some footage in a second or two. There's only really two steps you actually need to take, so I thought I'd show my face again. Uh, just to pad this video out and uh, maybe I'll do a little review at the end of something I played a few weeks ago just a short web game uh, perhaps but um, yeah here we go okay so there are really only two things you need to do to get this running properly and looking better firstly of course is you need to own a copy of Gunman Chronicles which if you don't have one already you can get off Amazon for as little as a penny with posting and packaging or eBay for not much more money Secondly, you'll need a copy of the original Half-Life on Steam, which if you haven't got already, you really need to take a few moments just to figure out what you're doing with your life. Next, install Gunman Chronicles to anywhere you wish on your system and find the ReWolf folder that it installs to. Cut or copy this to your Half-Life folder in the Steam, Steam Apps, Common Directory, and when you load Steam, you'll find that Gunman Chronicles is sitting there in your installed list. This will run Gunman as a mod to Half-Life's updated engine and as such is host to all the lovely modern resolutions and 3D options. One more thing that I needed to do that you might not is a small fix to stop a crash. At a certain point after fighting a giant mushroom, the game presented me with the error ED underscore alloc, no free edicts. Which was completely annoying as it happened just as I was really starting to enjoy myself. Luckily there is a way to fix this, all you have to do is to right click on Gunman Chronicles in your Steam library and go to properties, then select launch options and type in minus num underscore edicts space 2047. After this, you will no longer have the error message at certain points during the game, and you should be free to see it through right until the end. And there you have it, two simple steps to get a classic game working again, and hopefully we'll have it finished sometime today and be able to do a full review this weekend. Okay, so here is a short review to bolt on to the end of this video. The Last Night is a very short internet browser game which ranked first in 2014's Cyberpunk Jam. The game is created by two brothers, Tim and Adrian Sorrett, and aspires to sit aesthetically alongside the more acclaimed cyberpunk media of Blade Runner and Flashback. From the get-go, you can see that this is a game that has been designed by someone who knows how to use pixel art to its full advantage. The cityscapes and colours here are enormously pleasing to look at as they scroll with our character's movement. At this point in the game's life, being only a showcase for something that could be created given the chance, we only have the ability to walk from left to right and shoot a gun with unlimited ammo, but for a game that's only two and a half minutes long, lack of character abilities really is not a problem. Your one aim here is to walk to the right, experience the very well fitting music and sound effects and shoot anything that might stand in your way. The zenith of this short demo comes in form of a nightclub where you must intercept the man you have been sent to kill, shooting him off of a balcony. It is a very impressive piece of development. For a full release, I feel it would need a few more mechanics rather than just walking from left to right and shooting, but they certainly have the design, music and look down to a somewhat suspiciously good art. 
The game claims to be made in six days, which I can only assume means compiled in six days. Call me cynical, but I can't see two people being able to draw all of the pixel art, compose the music and program all the mechanics in under a week. But then again, I might be wrong, which I do hope I am in a way, because if they can make a two minute game this impressive in such a short time, who knows what they can make in a year? So check it out and see for yourselves, and if you are a fan of Cyberpunk as I am, do check out the Cyberpunk Jam website for all the games that were submitted. Almost all of the highest rated ones will have something that will appeal to you. Again, thanks for watching, commenting and subscribing, and I'll have a new review for you very soon. Can you see me there, look? I'm slashing that box open. Here's some commentary from Birmingham. Got me snatcher mug here. It's a uh, product placement. Yeah, been uh, sponsored by Konami. They sent me this mug. They didn't actually. I uh, got the mug with the game on eBay, which I won for forty-seven pounds. Stick that in your eBay pipe and smoke it. Considering how much that fucking game goes for these days. Oh, uh, look at that! It's just a remap of the uh, fucking uh, what do you call it in Half-Life? Sort of like a mix with a Tesla cannon and. Um, that other one that went whoop 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 That was a cracking old gun that was, wasn't it? They don't make imaginative guns in games anymore. Everything's gonna be fucking boring and, uh, you know, um, realistic. Even though everything has regenerating health, how's that realistic? Yeah, show some sound on, show some sound on. Let's have some bit of sound on. Oh, loading. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, it's fucking over. 